Hey, howdy. The work ethic of uh, people in Canada and in the United States of America is being beaten down every day. The government is saying we're the only ones that can save you and we're going to pay you, by the way, to not work and we're going to give you free stuff. But by doing that, you're losing your freedom. This work ethic business is bad. I mean, you got to give a lot of pushback and it's hard. It's hard to push back against something that says, hey, I'll give you a couple of thousand dollars a month to stay home. But... I only make 500 a month when I work because I work part time and I'm a student or I make a thousand a month. Whatever, the government is competing with free enterprise and it's not a very good thing. The government in Canada, <laughs> they're not a very good thing. They've recently announced that we're going to commit $321 million to the Indian communities that are searching for burial sites and uh, for the, with regard to residential schools. And we need the money to support survivors and their communities. I'm a white guy and, and I'd like to go and search for some of my relatives' grave sites that actually have been lost. Can I do that? Will you give me a check? I don't think so. Here's a woman in Germany. She's given people a false sense of protection, I guess, or immunity. She said, come see me. I'll give you the vaccine. And she did this to thousands of people. They're estimating just close to 10,000 patients and who were supposed to get the jab. And in fact, she gave them water. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The Conservative Party of Canada, they've now barred a fella. His name is Jonah Smith from running as their candidate in the Yukon territory or province maybe uh, with regards to a federal election. They said, hey, we just found out, we just appointed you a month ago, but we just found out that you don't agree with us on the vaccine and the vaccinations and how dare you, you're saying people shouldn't get vaccinated and out you go. So they're in charge of that too. I mean, hey, hey, you can have an opinion as long as it's the same as mine. That's coming from a conservative party? Are you kidding me? That sounds a little socialist, does it not? I mean, you're not entitled to your own opinion. Oh, you are, as long as it's identical to mine. That is socialism. Bad stuff. The conservative party in Canada, 70% of Canadians have never voted for him, and I wonder why. The conservative leader, Aaron O'Toole, he accused Beijing of using the death penalty for political purposes, of course. The politician said we have the death penalty for drug dealers. O'Toole says, but hey, that's pretty harsh. That's a way too harsh. He's a Canadian. You shouldn't kill him. All he did was bring drugs into your country when, in fact, it was against the law, when, in fact, he knew that the death penalty was there for him if, in fact, he got caught. He got caught. The death penalty is not a bad thing. I mean, this guy smuggled in 222 kilograms of drugs, bad drugs, and, and that's the law. It's their country, O'Toole. It's not your country. <laughs> I'm having a moment here. I have to pause because I'm getting worked up because O'Toole and all of these guys, what are they? I, I mean, you catch a bad guy and you release him right away. It's catch and release all of the time. I mean, what happened to consequences? Death penalty. Death penalty in Canada should exist. I mean, 75% of all Canadians are in favor of it. doesn't matter if you are or not. The majority they are. And, and jurors should have that right. They should have that ability to make a decision versus the government making the decisions all of the time. I mean, that's a commie kind of thing. And here you have a communist country that, that has a death penalty and well, they shouldn't. People know that. It's written. It's talked about. And, and the guy was a really bad guy. It appears like at least. And O'Toole's saying, oh, that's just so bad. And Kelowna Lake country in British Columbia, Canada, the member of parliament there, Tracy Gray, she's getting lots of pushback from the homosexual community because she voted against this. I don't know what it was. The ah, ah, something. And in any event, they've now uh, the they barred her from this parade and, and uh, all these events that they have in Kelowna. It's like a birthday. You have a birthday you celebrate for one day. Uh, Christmas, one day. Uh, the homosexual community, they want to celebrate for a month and then a whole season. I don't know what they're celebrating about. I mean, I'm straight. Should I celebrate for a month or two that I'm straight or should I just go on and live my life? No kidding. So Tracy, she's barred from this event, from all events, because she's outspoken. And well, you know what? Uh, they can ban me too. And they can also ban about 99% of the entire population because, you know what, um, porn is online. You don't need to go to a parade of, of homosexual people and watch all of this nonsense. I mean, you can if you want. I mean, I don't agree with it, but I'll always defend the right to have it. I mean, you should be able to do what you want to do. I'm all about freedom and stuff, whereas these people, for the most part, say you can do only what I say. <laughs> We're back to that leftism stuff. The people's, Tracy, by the way, don't give in to these people because politicians do. I'm sure that your leader will be all over you saying, hey, now you apologize. That's a sign of weakness. Don't listen to that idiot. Uh, 
That's the problem because he's the problem because you're not allowed to voice anything unless he approves of it. And he won't approve of what you've done and, and of all of this stuff, probably. And he's going to come in and blah, 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 push back. The People's Party of Canada. They just recently sent an email out to a whole bunch of people, and I got one too, talking about their party. And it's great. It reads great. But is it a real party? Or is it Max's party? Is it a people's party, like the name suggests? I mean, they've been around about three years. There's been no leadership convention that I'm aware of. I think it's his party. I like Max. I think he's a good leader. That's not my point. My point is, it doesn't seem to be a normal party where other people can come in and say, hey, I want to do this. I want to be the leader. Are you going to have the same leader all of the time that's never been addressed? And I think it should be. Just saying. There's seven million... Who cares about what I'm going to say? This is, matters not. There are 7 million horses in the United States. There's a million horses in Texas. There's 1 million horses in Canada. There's 350,000 horses in Alberta. That's just some info for you. You can horse around with that. And you know what i got to tell you? I rode in rodeos for many, many years. And all of those horses, the 7 million, I think they all stepped on me. So today's joke is really on me. And i got the sore foot to prove it. And you all come back tomorrow. And hey, why the long face? See ya.